This video shows how to create the 410 Win 8 virtual machine in VMware Player or Workstation and install Windows 8.1 Enterprise for use in the hands-on activities in MCSA Guide to Installing and Configuring Windows Server 2012 from Cengage Learning. We will use VMware Player for this demonstration, but VMware Workstation has a similar process. If you have been following the other three videos, you already have the three Windows Server virtual machines created, and you've installed Windows Server 2012 R2 on 410 Server 1 and performed the initial configuration tasks. In Chapter 2, you will be installing Windows Server 2012 R2 on 410 Server 2 and 410 Server Core. We start by opening VMware Player and clicking Create a New Virtual Machine. Virtual Machine Wizard starts. You will want to choose I will install the operating system later. Click Next. The guest operating system is correct at Windows, uh, Microsoft Windows and you want to then choose Windows 8. If you are installing the 64-bit version, then choose Windows 8 x64. If not, choose Windows 8. I will be using the Windows 8 x64 version. Click Next. For the virtual machine name, we can choose 410 Win 8. Click Next. The maximum disk size is set at 60 gigabytes, which works just fine. And for better performance, you may want to store the virtual disk as a single file, unless you want to be able to move the virtual machine uh, disk files using removable media like uh, USB flash drives. Then you might want to use the split virtual disk into multiple files. Click Next. And then we're ready to create the virtual machine. Click Finish. Before we install Windows 8, let's edit some of the virtual machine settings. Click Edit Virtual Machine Settings. You can leave the memory at 2 gigabytes if you have sufficient memory on your host machine. Otherwise, you might want to lower it down to about 1 gigabyte. The other change we want to make is we want to be sure that 410 Win 8 is on the same virtual network as the servers. The other servers we chose host only for the network adapter. Ask your instructor if you should use bridged or NAT. Host only is what we're using for this demonstration. You may or may not need to do the next step depending on whether you have a physical DVD with Windows 8.1 Enterprise or if you have an ISO file. In my case I'm going to connect my DVD, my virtual DVD, to an ISO file for Windows 8.1. Click on the CD DVD, click Use ISO Image File and click Browse to where your ISO file can be found and select the ISO file click open. Now when Windows 8.1 boots, it will boot to the ISO file on your disk drive instead of the physical DVD. That should be all the changes necessary for Windows 8.1. Click OK. Now you're ready to install Windows 8.1 in your virtual machine. With 410 Win 8 selected in VMware Player, Click Play Virtual Machine. The virtual machine will boot to the Windows DVD drive. The setup of Windows 8 is very similar to the setup of Windows Server 2012. The initial screen has your language options. Unless you need to change those, just click Next and then click the Install Now button. 
click to accept the license terms and click next. You want to do a custom installation so click custom install windows only and then you select the disk drive to install windows on. The default disk drive is good so click next and then Windows begins the installation procedure. This will take a while depending on how fast your machine is. Could take anywhere from a few minutes to uh, 15, 20 or more minutes. During installation your virtual machine will restart a few times and then you'll be presented with the personalized screen. You're prompted to provide a PC name and we should use 410 Win 8. Click Next. In the Settings page, you can use Express Settings. Windows will check for an internet connection. If you're connected to a host-only network, you probably will not have a connection to the internet unless you've installed uh, a router virtual machine. If uh, you're using some other method, for your internet connection such as NAT or um, Bridged you may be able to access the internet. In any case we want to create a local account. We do not want to use a Microsoft account. So click create a local account. For the username type win8 user the password password01 with a capital P So it looks like that. For the password hint, you can just put like PW01 or something similar. Then click Finish. Windows will finalize your settings. This will probably take a while. You're presented finally with the start screen. We need to make just a few changes in the 410 Win 8 virtual machine. Click Desktop and then right click the start button right click not left click and go to network connections right click on ethernet zero and click properties double click the internet protocol version 4 and click use the following IP address the address we want to use for 410win8 is 10.10.1.10 with a subnet mask of 255.255.0.0. If you have a router set up on your network, punch, punch in the address for the router. I'm going to use 10.10.1.250. For the DNS server, we want the address of 410 server 1 because eventually this machine will be joining the domain. So you want to put in 10.10.1.1 for the preferred DNS server. Click OK. And then click OK again. Then close network connections. While it's not necessary, you may want to configure the, uh, the work group settings. While it's not necessary, you may also want to configure the work group settings. Right click on start, click system, and under the computer name section, click change settings. Click change and change the work group name to 410 server 2012 and then click OK. You'll be asked uh, to restart the computer. You don't need to do that just now. Click OK and click OK and click close. When it prompts you to restart the computer, click restart later. That's it, your virtual machine is ready to go. 
you can close out the system properties. Now, if you're using an evaluation version of Windows 8, unlike Windows Server 2012, which gives you a 180-day evaluation, which should be sufficient for most courses you might be taking, Windows 8 is only 90 days. Now, if you need to extend the evaluation period for your Windows 8, um, you want to open a command prompt. Actually, you want to open a administrator command prompt. If you get the user account control prompt, click yes. And then you want to type in slmgr-xpr to see when your evaluation is going to expire. Windows will provide a little window that shows you um, if this was an evaluation, it would tell me how many days were left in it, or if my evaluation had expired, it would give me this message, Windows is in notification mode. If it is an evaluation and you're near the expiration time, you can extend that expiration for another 30 days by typing slmgr-rearm and then pressing enter. I'm not going to do that now, but if you press enter, Windows will give you a message saying that it completed successfully and that you need to restart the computer for it to take effect. That's pretty much it. You can close out your command prompt and you can right click on the start button and shut down your 410 Win 8 virtual machine. That concludes this demonstration of 410 Win 8.